Hi guys, today I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial to show you how to link your CarrotBars.sg account to your CarrotBit account. This will be essential for you guys in July, especially when we are trading in or cashing in some of our coins on the 4th of July um, for gold. You'll need to have a CarrotBit account. Um, if you have a Carrot Gold, oh, sorry, Carrot Bars account, here's the website, CarrotGold.sg. Your login details for this site can be used on the CarrotBit exchange. You do not need to make a new ex a new account. If you do not have a Carrot Gold account, please go ahead and register it. I did send the link to many of you before. If you haven't got the link, I'll put it under the description in this video, and then you can click on that link and please go and make sure you register and then follow the video here. So that you can get this organized this is more important today the 22nd of april for the guys who have kcb coins on their carrot gold um, carrot gold platform because these coins as you can see here kcb coins these coins are going to be transferred tomorrow through to the carrot bit wallets and if you haven't specified where to send it to they will not be sent so what you need to do is Firstly, if you haven't registered on this platform, go ahead and register as, as the link below. Then you can go to carrotbit.com, as you see up here, and you click on login. Let's take you through the process quickly. Click on login, and you will see here, you you can click on this little carrot bar sign where it says you already have a carrot bar account. And if you click on that, they will allow you to log in using the details from your carrot bars account. Okay, so what you'll be asked to do is verify the capture. So in this case, please look for bridges and then click on verify. And click on login. All right, so this will take you through to your carrot bit platform. What you need to do is go to dashboard on the top here and you'll see you have four tabs you will look under the wallet and balance tab and this will bring you a balance of all the different coins that you have you could have um, bitcoin in here you could have ethereum you could have kbc coins or you could have kcb coins so for those of you who have the kcb coin i need you to go to the um, deposit over here and then you need to go and click on deposit which will bring up your wallet address. Now, please be very sure that you copy the entire address. So if you just click copy address, that's the safest way to do it. it takes the whole thing. And then just note the first three and the last three letters, which is OX6 and F1D. Now, you go through to your carrotgold.sg platform. And if you look under my profile and you go edit profile, here you're gonna find a link with all your details you have your personal details in here and there's a space that says my ether wallet this is where you need to plug and copy and paste that into literally just paste it in there and then you make sure the last three and the first three are exactly the same as you had it previously all right and then you just click on update profile once that's done Personal details successfully stored, and it says, please click here to check if your wallets are compatible. You are using carrot bits, so that's perfectly fine. If you are using another ERC20 wallet, then you might need to check if it's compatible. For the sake of this one, we are just going to use carrot bit for the new guys, and we don't want to confuse you guys too much. Okay, let's go back to carrotbit.com now. For the guys who have not got KCB coins and you have KBC coins, now, this is also a good place to store your coins. The wallets have not come back into working as of yet. We have been promised that it will be happening sometime soon, but we might be waiting for a while. So what we're going to do is set up a wallet for all of you who have KBC coins on this platform. So what I would like to do is send you guys all your coins so that you can be the one holding your coins on this platform. And in order to do that, you literally just have to open the account and look at the deposit tab because once you've got that it'll load again an address and that address you can copy and send to me once i've got your address i can send the coins into this wallet for you 
and you can store it here quite safely. Um, for, so if you haven't gone ahead and registered yet on carrot gold.sg please do it as soon as possible because then we can start getting the ball rolling if you haven't ordered your mastercard please go ahead and order your mastercard very very handy to have especially if you're going to be spending money after july um, you won't have a mastercard info link on your profile unless you've done your kyc um, which i think is under here so if you see under edit profile at the bottom is kyc which is know your customer and here it tells you everything you need to know about uploading the documents, exactly which documents they'll take, the size of the documents, how many megabytes. They are very sticky about this. If you get it wrong, they're just going to send it back and they're going to say, please resend it um, because they're Germans and they like to do things properly. So one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, it cannot be a physically, it cannot be an emailed um, bill. It has to be a physically mailed bill, such as an electricity bill or your rates and taxes bill um, so what you could do is if you have not received yours by post print it out crumple it up a little bit and take a picture of it with your phone and then upload that so that it looks like it's been mailed to you um, preferably if you have something that has actually been mailed that would be first prize and then with Lucy you'll need a copy of your ID document um, if you have a card ID, you'll need the front and the back. As you can see down here, I've uploaded my documents. They've all been approved. It's quite simple. You literally select which document you want. Is it going to be an ID or a proof of address? You go and browse for your file and you upload it. So if anybody gets stuck, you can let me know. Because um, once you've done your KYC and you go back to your dashboard over here, you'll have the MasterCard link available to you where you can go and register for your MasterCard. Again, there will be a backlog on cards the longer you wait, so I recommend doing it as soon as possible, um, especially if you're planning on spending money in July. All right, that's it for today. If anyone has any questions, please drop me a line. Thanks. Bye.